So here we have a classic incline problem or Atwood's machine or half Atwood machine if you want to call it that, where we have an incline and a pulley and these two masses are joined together by some sort of rope. Now we have to work out the acceleration and the tension and I've taken already the liberty of drawing the diagram for us. The first thing you should always do is two things. Number one is establish what is the direction that you're going to be assuming is the positive direction. And secondly, you should label all the forces. Now I'm going to make my direction in that direction. It doesn't matter if you get the wrong direction because the value you get for the acceleration will turn out to be negative and then you know it's going to be going in the other way. So I've made it that direction. The next thing I do, of course, is label the forces. Now the force down this way, of course, is 4G. And of course, it's experiencing a tension in the upward direction. Now, if it's a frictionless pulley, which it is in this case, then all it does is redirect that force. So we have the same tension in that direction. Finally, we also have a force down now the plane, which I won't go into how to resolve that, but this ends up being equal to 5G sine 30, because that is the component of the force that is going along the plane. Now what we do is apply Newton's second law. And second law says that the net force is equal to the mass multiplied by the acceleration, and that is equal to the sum of the forces acting on each of the blocks. And that's what you do. You treat each block identical. So I know I've only got two masses here. If I had six masses here, all joined up by strings and two masses here, you do the same principle. So it's fairly straightforward as a result. So I'm going to start off first with the four kilogram mass. So we know that its net force is 4A. And that is equal to the sum of the forces. I've established this to be the positive direction. So it becomes 4G minus T. That's all. Now, what about my second mass? I have 5A and I have now T minus 5G sine 30. Now, we now have two equations and two unknowns and we solve them by elimination. So if I add these two together, I'm gonna to get 9A over here. The T's cancel out. Like I said, if you have multiple forces, you have more equations, but you'll have T1, T2, T3, depending on how many ropes you have, and they'll all cancel out. So end up getting 4G minus 5G sine 30. Of course, I can simplify that. I'm going to get 9A is equal to, now, sine 30 is a half, so what I get is 4G minus 2.5G. Of course, you can now work out the acceleration, my acceleration ends up being 1.63 meters per second squared. Of course, it's now simply a task of just substituting our acceleration in into the, one of these formulas here to work out T. And I'm gonna get you to that yourself, it's fairly straightforward, but if you do it correctly, you're gonna get a T of value of equal to 32.67 newtons. And there is our incline problem. Take care, bye for now.